I'll tell you briefly about Ishikawa diagrams. Now, where I'd previously said that uh, root cause analysis is, has some problems because it's, it's um, very free-ranging and it's not directed at all. Now, to overcome this, you can use uh, some sort of a structure to guide the investigation. And this is what an Ishikawa diagram is. Uh, it's also known as a fishbone diagram because when you draw them out, they tend to look like a, a fish skeleton. Uh, but when you fill it all in, it starts to look a bit more like a snowflake. Um, now, these were invented by Ishikawa in 1968. He was working in um, uh, Kawasaki Prefecture, I think, uh, or Kobe. Um, but certainly, he, he wanted this um, list of things to investigate. And so, he proposed this, um, you have your main event line, and then you have the things that contribute to the event line. Uh, it, it sort of is like a checklist. Now there are several, there are lots of checklists uh, available, uh, depending on the different circumstances. Um, the, the, there are tend to be checklists for circumstances. Now the one that's probably appropriate to information technology uh, incidents is um, the one that uh, starts off with uh, investigating people, process, equipment, materials, measurements, and environment. There are variations where um, management can be included as well. And we're not talking about uh, middle management or something like that, but more the, the, the project management. How, how was this uh, project managed? That each branch of the Ishikawa diagram um, can itself uh, become uh, branched. So if you're looking at uh, people, for example, uh, you might look at were there enough people, did they have adequate knowledge and skills, were they adequately trained, uh, did they have adequate um, uh, directions for this particular thing, so were there specifications they were working from, were they adequate. Um, but to get back to, to people specifically, we want to know were there enough of them, were they the right type of people, they the right uh, skills and qualification, did they have the right knowledge. Um, and I guess one of the things that comes into play there is whether they were um, fit to be working. So, um, by that I don't mean you know, whether they're drunk or anything, but um, had they been working extremely long hours and so were they tired and just not really able to pay attention to it all. So that's um, a brief introduction to the Ishikawa diagram. It's, it's a framework which can guide and direct a root cause analysis.